I really wanted to come to Korea to see the artists in person, to see their studio, uh, where they're working, you know, what their environments are. And for me, this is the most important and best way to experience art, which of course, in, in person, live, you, you get to meet the artists, you get to hear them talk about their own work, uh, and it really fills in the whole picture and experience of uh, an artist as a, as a practitioner, as an individual, whether it's clean or messy or, you know, yeah, just the way that they live and you, know, you get a real sense of what it means to have a creative life. So this was sort of a perfect opportunity to come and not just meet artists and, and see how they work, which I find fascinating. I'm always curious to see people's studios and what their work environment looks like. Um, you know, you can see individual works or solo shows, but kind of understanding the landscape and how all the different institutions and, and groups fit together is really fascinating. Doing, I think there are a few sort of international stars who have made their name beyond Korea, but I think from an international art market audience, I don't know that there's like a huge depth of understanding of what the local scene is and I think things like Freeze and, and programs like this starts to create a dialogue that hasn't been there. Yeah, so basically I wanted to come back to Seoul. You know, I think it's a great city in many aspects and I think, you know, to take part in the program is really interesting for me because I I saw that I didn't know a certain generation of artists, younger generation of artists, so for me it's a really good way to try to get to know them as well. First of all, well, we all know that um, you know Free Soul coming into um, Seoul, it's a significant, um, you know, um, indications of how um, Asia art markets um, has been strengthening um, over the past years. Um, so the art market is fundamentally, you know, it's, um, what has been attracting, um, you know, the, uh, all these um, international audience to come to Korea and what attracts all these, um, you know, curators, museum directors, as well as all the international galleries coming into Korea. You know, how the market is fluctuating today. Um, Korea has been um, a very strong uh, market um, for Asia and for the rest of the world. I think the most notable thing for me, and the, it's a surprise and at the same time not really, but I, I think what's really uh, amazing to see the diversity uh, of uh, practices and the fact that there are so many different ways uh, for artists here to tackle different issues uh, and uh, employing different strategies to get to what they're trying to do. Uh, so, and I think what's, that's what's really great with the program is that it's really like a range a very diverse range of artists that we get to to meet. Um, I think uh, Korean the Korean art market is doing well. Most especially the presence of Freeze here is one indication that uh, there is a strong um, market activity. And also I think um, Many curators and many um, researchers work on um, Korean artists also. So I think the, there is a very healthy dynamic between uh, curating, uh, research, and also the commercial aspects of uh, the artistic landscape of South Korea. I think opportunities like this program and also things like Freeze Art Fair, Seoul Art Week and the number of galleries, commercial galleries, who are now promoting Korean artists internationally, all of that coming together is going to be a huge benefit for the Korean art market, for the commercial gallery sector.